Hello and welcome to the Weekly Gaming Roundup for the 15th of January 2021. As you all may know, previously, Electronic Arts, EA, actually has the exclusivity deal from Disney to create Star Wars games. That exclusivity is set to expire in 2023. And because of this, Disney is now going to revive the Lucasfilm Games brand to take on all the Star Wars gaming projects. But Lucasfilm Games also has come out to say that they will not stop working with Electronic Arts and they also have another project in line together with Ubisoft. The project with Ubisoft is apparently an open world with a single player story driven campaign. So we just gotta wait and see if Lucasfilm Games can steer the Star Wars games into the right direction and you know games like Jedi Outcast and stuff like that, I've missed those games. Hopefully there is a sequel to those kind of games that will be out soon and hopefully that Lucasfilm Games is a better choice than just giving like, the exclusivity deal to a random company like EA or Ubisoft. And with all the graphics card shortages in the world right now, NVIDIA just released a new RTX 3060. Not another one? So the RTX 3060 is obviously supposed to be less powerful than the 3060 Ti, which means it will most likely be around the range of 2070 Super or probably the 1080 Ti because the 3060 Ti's performance is around the 2080 Super range. And not only that, the RTX 3060 also comes with 12GB of VRAM which is 4GB more than the RTX 3060 Ti. Now, you might be wondering why would the less powerful 3060 have more RAM than the more powerful 3060 Ti? It all boils down to the architecture inside those two cards itself. The normal 3060 is basically a chip that is made for 3060 itself, while the 3060 Ti actually has a chip that is a cut down version of the RTX 3070. And in the RTX 3070 series, to put it as the most layman as possible, inside those cards, there are different bandwidths for the RAM. And because of those bandwidths, there is actually only specific amount of RAMs that you can put in into the card. So maybe there's eight gigabytes and the next step that they can put into those cards are 16 gigabytes. So obviously putting 16 gigabytes into a 3070 is pretty much gonna cannibalize the 3080. So I think that's why they didn't do it. And in the RTX 3060 version, most likely the amount of RAM that they could put in is most likely six gigabytes or 12 gigabytes. So I guess 12 gigabytes would be a wise choice because I think six gigabytes will be pretty little if you want to compare to something like from AMD, for example. And I'm pretty sure according to AMD's architecture, they most likely will have four, eight or 16 gigabytes of RAM in their lower end graphics card. So the cards that are rumored to come out, the 6700, the 6600 and all that, most likely will only have about 8 gigabytes of RAM or 16 gigabytes of RAM. And obviously with 8 gigabytes and 16 gigabytes of RAM, it will be way much more than the 6 gigabytes if Nvidia decided to put like 6 gigabytes on the 3060. So I guess that's why they went with a 12 gigabyte version. Hopefully that didn't confuse you, but that actually required me to do some research as well because I was actually very interested in why they decided to put like 12 gigs into the card instead of 8. Hopefully you understand that in the most layman terms as possible. If you really are interested in how the mechanics and all that work, you can actually go online and research why does the 3060 have 12 gigabytes of RAM. So the card is slated to be released on the end of February. So we don't know what exactly the dates are yet. Maybe it's 28th of February, maybe it's sometime earlier. But the pricing for it is actually pretty okay. It is 329 US dollars. So most likely if you convert it to about like Singapore dollars, it will be about 600. That is with taxes and all the import duties and stuff, but $600 is still pretty okay. It's still quite the same price with like the 2060 or the 1060 when those cards came out. So hopefully there are no scalpers as well. I'm not going to pay a thousand dollars for a 3060, but hey, 3060, if it is around the range of a 1080 Ti level of performance, it is actually a pretty good buy if you are getting it for $600. And here is some quick fire news. CD Projekt Red has come out to say that there is a new Cyberpunk 2077 roadmap for this year for all the bug fixes and also for DLCs and stuff like that. 
Call of Duty Warzone finally has DLSS coming its way to the game. And if you don't know what DLSS is, it is actually something that allows your graphics card to render the games at a lower resolution, but the graphics card will take that lower resolution gameplay and it will enlarge it into like 1080p and make it look absolutely great without all the pixelated stuff like at 720 and stuff like that. Or you can just go online and find out what DLSS is. And Razer has introduced a new N95 mask, which they are dubbing a smart mask, which has RGB. So that's all for this week's news roundup. Tune in next week for more updates. Yeah.